Welcome everybody to Down and Dirty with the Badger State Tractor Pullers. Monday, January 15th, the Monday after the Midwest Winter Nationals. We've got the Elsine family with us, Greg, Avery, Mason, and Emily. Welcome tonight. Clint Tucker, the promoter. His service is so good. He's got a face for radio. That's all I'm going to say. That's why he does the black face here. No, actually, he has crappy internet where he is, and the audio is the most important thing. So welcome, everybody. Wanted to have the, the Elsine family on tonight. We have the video of Mason's winning pass Saturday night. Um, in, uh, sure, that, that's the qualifying pass, looks like, Mason, right? Because yep. you, you put it in the sand for the in the, in the finals, right? Yeah, yeah, we got we got to the sand pile. Yep, that was awesome. That was awesome. But so you know, Charles Post, uh, the main announcer down there, calls it the the Super Bowl for single charger pulling tractors. Um, it's one of the best events in the Midwest. It's it's that one time of the year where everybody kind of gets together, and the hot farm guys have a place to go, and the pro farms, and the super farms, and the minis, and it's it's a Louisville for a lot of these classes, Mason. So. And then I'm really proud of you guys because your dad said they they got that thing running. And I was watching. I was down in Zellwood, Florida, and I saw the um, I was watching the results and I saw you won the finals. I was pretty tickled pink. So uh, pretty good there. But hey, let's move into before we get into your big win and your awesome weekend. And by far, this is the Badger State show and the Badger State tractor pullers. Greg had an awesome weekend in Shipshawana, correct? They did. They did. They well represented all the classes. I think we won two of them. And Jason Kleppe also is one of our tech guys with us, and he won his class. So Yep. Yeah, and he's going to be on Let's Grow Pulling here at 8 o'clock tonight. But, Clint, when Clint started this, Clint, how many years is this now, bud? It's our 20th anniversary. Okay, their 20th anniversary. He started this for ECI pullers, for Badger State pullers. For, right, Clint, am I, am I accurate when I say that? Yeah, when we started this in 2005, I called Greg, and I called, uh, at that time, I've been Larry Steinman. He was in charge of the East Central Missouri tractor pullers. And, of course, I pulled the ECIs. I knew all those guys. I forget who the president was in 2005. But um, we got everything together. And uh, I also called uh, Jason Forrester and um, the guys in Pennsylvania. And I said, this is what I'm thinking. And um, uh, we started looking for buildings. I went to um, – uh, University, uh, there in Cedar Falls, Iowa. That was the first place I went. Had a nice meeting with them people. They were kind of thinking about it. And then one of their old board of directors guys called me and told me, he goes, are there going to be diesel tractors involved? I said, yes. He goes, we're not interested. I was like, well, I'll suck the smoke out. And he said, still not interested. So, okay. So then I'm, I went uh, to a little building in Gordyville, met with those people. They they were having a flea market. We walked in there with a shovel and dug down in there, and they found, we found dirt, and that's where we started. And then it. that was actually about four days before Halloween. And then Halloween night, I was passing candy out and started calling guys. And I had a I still have my notebook. I probably called over 250 guys over three days, and they said, "Yeah, we're in. We'll, we'll try it." Back then, Gordy Casper uh, had the light limited uh, tractors. And I called Gordy and I called Larry and Mark Hawthorne. I was like, You think we could get some light limiteds? They said, Sure. So um, they helped me get the light limited class put together. And I think that was actually the last pull Gordy got to watch, was our event in 2005. Yeah. He, he had the terrible cancer that we're still working, you know, to battle. And, um, um, that's how it all started. And, uh, 20 years later, now we're in this great, big, huge, beautiful building in on Indiana and still doing it with some of the same guys that started in 2005 with me. Yeah. Now you were really, you were really, really battling the, the weather this weekend, Clint, but, but from the pictures I saw, um, looks to look like you had a nice crowd there at all the sessions. Yeah, we were. A little down in attendance each session on Friday and Saturday, but Thursday we set a record. Um, most people in that building for Thursday. Friday and Saturday, understandably, because we got a considerable amount of snow. But, you know, in that area up there, a lot of guys, a lot of pullers, a lot of fans got there Thursday and enjoyed the whole weekend. It was inconvenient, but we, we, we got through it. Um, it, it, was, it was good attendance um, all, all, all three days. Good attendance. We can't be happier. Really appreciate everybody braving the snow and braving the cold temperatures. So it was it was a really great event. We had good competition. 
everybody did their job. The track was amazing. Travis actually made the track better this year than it was in the past because he sifted the dirt. And man, does it take it it takes low gears and front end weight to get down the track and we're oh. couldn't be any happier and, and Brent Bungart ran every session, every class, and didn't reset the sled one time the entire weekend. That's, That's amazing. Impressive. That That's was amazing. amazing. I, my one question for you, Clint, is did everybody get their truck started Sunday morning? Yeah, there were a couple guys we had to help um, get them inside and get them warmed up. There's still one left, my little buddy Jay from Ohio. He he had a little trouble, and I talked to Jay, and, and I think we're going to go back out there and try to reclaim it if it ever warms up. But, uh, but yeah, it, it's, a, it's a nightmare whenever you get that many trucks and, and haulers and stuff there and trying to keep them warm. But uh, yeah. it's a unique situation. First time we ever had that much snow up there. But um, it is what it is. It's the Winter Nationals, the snow. A lot of guys didn't couldn't couldn't get out. And I'm sad. We, we're all sad they couldn't get there. But uh, I really appreciate the effort everybody that did. It made the show really good. And um, like I said, <laughs> we got home last night, looked everything over, and and uh, actually watched some live stream last night when I was watching football, and it's just, it's just, I, I can't thank everybody enough for all the effort they put into it because it's just not, it's not fifty guys. It's all over. We're really happy, and we're we're making plans for next year. I love it. And then, have you announced where the where it's going to be next year officially? Not yet. Um, sounds like uh, there's a good chance. Uh, hopefully. Got a few stones to jump over and a couple hurdles to jump, but we might be in the same place next year. And I hope we are. Awesome. Because everybody really, really likes that place. Yep, they do. They really, really do. All right, Emily. So we have our biggest audience ever uh, for uh, Down and Dirty the Badger State Tractor Pullers because we're streaming to the New Age Custom Farming YouTube page tonight. There's a lot of smart asses on there, so I can tell they're Elsing fans um, by <laughs> looking through all the comments. But we got a ton of people watching tonight. So you guys have any questions for Emily or for Avery or Mason or Greg, please sort up there in the comments. Clint, you don't have to stay on the whole show. I'm hoping you can jump on again after eight as well. We're going to bring Jason Kleppe in. He won the 12,000 farm stock, but sure. I guess you as a, and you can stay on the whole time. I just don't want to, I only feel like you have to, but as a promoter, nope. like last year when I was down at the event, Greg and I went through the pits and we interviewed all the Badger State pullers, you know, and talked about how much it means to Greg and the Badger State pullers to have them come down and also then do well at your event. What's it like for you to have all these big associations really support your event, Tucker? And then, you know, kind of, there's a lot of pride in it. You know what I mean? Like I, I remember giving like Brad Howell and the IPL guys crap if a Badger State tractor beat them. There's a little bit of, you know, internal rivalry in there too. How do you play off of that a little bit as a promoter? Well, you know, you want to get the best tractors from every group and represented. And for the most part, most of the guys – uh, take advantage of it. I mean, it's disappointing some of the local guys don't come up and, and run with us. But, you know, it's also, you know, uh, like last year, especially in Greg's class, and it was brought to my attention. Last year it was, in the finals, was, you know, six tractors. It was five Badger States and one from Minnesota, being Steve Bowsman. Well, this year was the same thing. You know, it was five Badger State tractors and Dean Holiday. So, um we have a few things up our sleeves to uh, maybe encourage guys from <laughs> Illinois, Indiana, Ohio to come, you know, put their their name in the hat. Uh, but we'll leave that to a later date because it's kind of funny and maybe insulting to a few people, but whatever. It is, it is <laughs> what it is. We, just, we want a good mix of everything in there. And uh, some guys aren't cut out for winter pulling. And, uh, there's some some guys that came this year. It's like I'm never doing that again. But there's also guys that the same thing about Coryville. Yes, you know, because it's it was bitter cold and the wind blows and everything. But up there, it's you know, it's a different kind of cold. I guess it's a it's a it's an Arizona cold. <laughs> it's different. It's just it's not miserable up there like it was in Coryville. And the building is top notch. You know, hot to get in there. The, guy, the, the, the building people made it really nice in the back, especially Saturday. When I walked out there Saturday afternoon, it was really nice in that building. You know, it was not bitter, cold. 
wasn't snow blowing in the eaves and whatnot. So it's really nice. But um, but all in all, like I said, I I can't thank everybody enough um, that that came and participated. It was a really good event. I mean, could have been better. Sure, we'll we'll work on that. We'll get some commitments from some guys. I wish we'd had a few more semis there for the kids, but um, we'll work it out. I mean, if the weather would have been not so terrible, we'd had a few more five O's. If parts guys could have got their work done, there'd have been some more tractors there. But we had enough. It was a good show, and um, can't thank everybody enough. And I really thank Greg and his boys for rebuying the toolbox. That's amazing. And we made the charity really happy. We got some weird looking haircuts and uh, Francie shaving Ryan. So. Got it done. Did they? Uh, you, did you? Yeah. Did Roos have to shave his beard? He did have to shave his beard, and I Good. don't think we're done yet because so many guys came back to the entry area and donated their money, and I haven't even opened that box up yet. But I think we're going to really knock one out of the park. With, awesome. With the charity. Great. great um, are you going to bring great. back? You going to bring back the semis next year? Was one of the questions I have on the screen, Clint. We're going to have to get some. Firm commitments of guys that uh, that and also will sit. It, it will also be the, the, how the how the building is set up because um, there's there's talk of moving the track to the Coliseum um, and we'll pit in the big building. So we'll we'll determine that whenever all that is uh, told to us. So awesome. If, if the first step is you know. Hopefully they 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 want the event back, and then what what building will we be competing in? Because in the big building, the semis work really good, and the the coliseum it might be a little more difficult. But well, there's a will, there's a way, and uh, now that everybody's kind of seen it. Um, we had we had a we had great intentions of having six or eight really good trucks there. Um, the three that showed up were really great. But uh, I think I think we can get maybe eight to twelve of them next year, and uh, hopefully it all works out. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Yeah, once you know the final numbers on this stuff, and I know Charles will be talking about it as well on sidetrack, but it's just sure. awesome those guys all rallied around all that to do all that, and the toy raffle, and and the guy who won it. That's such a cool story as well. But sure, well, sure. I got a question for Clint. I think we already got. Uh, We've already got kind of a toy plan for next year. I mean, most people don't know this yet, but, you know, the war room was already discussed, and I think we got the toy picked out for next year, and and uh, we're marching forward. Yeah. Clint, you can you tell everybody how – you talked about the matching funds a little bit, about the money you raised, you know, for cancer. Sure. Somehow, for every dollar you raised, some, it got matched or something. How does that work? Yeah. Adam told this um, – and some of his charitable efforts there in New York, that every dollar that some of the things that he does, uh, he does a lot of drives and stuff, that every dollar uh, private funding and government funding over there in New York would put $23 in for every dollar. You know, we, did, really? we were not aware of any of this until you know we got going with it. Well, that's amazing. You know, so... Hopefully, I mean, I'm I'm really hoping we can get in that thirty-five to forty thousand after I get all the, because I I'll be honest, I was lazy today, just started putting trying to put stuff away out of the cold, and uh, I haven't even dove into the all the computer and the purse boxes and all that stuff, and uh, start getting all that together. But I know I know there's a couple of classes that donated their entire purse and their finals to the charity, so you know the cheapest one's like two grand, so that. That's gonna that's gonna get those guys up, you know, a little higher. So they did they did a good job, and, and I want to give a shout out to Nate McCormick and Tony Reed. They 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 put a TikTok out there, and, and you can just tell when they do stuff that things start happening. You know, there's so many people watch what those guys do. So oh, they're crazy. When he did it for that tractor that. raffle a couple years ago, Tucker, that thing went sure. through the roof at St. Jude's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is awesome. That those is awesome. Look, those guys reach a lot of people. Yeah. No, they're awesome. They're awesome. They're great at it. And that's what's fun about social media. 
all the personalities coming and people want to see him and meet him and stuff like that. It's great. So, well, Clint, I'm going to let you go. I'm going to talk to the LCM family about their big yeah, win and the rest of the show. Yeah, if you want to jump on at 8 o'clock, that'd be great as well, okay? Yep, be fine. It's that, sep it's that second link I sent you in Messenger. So, All right. Sure. I got it. Emily, we're on New Age Custom Farming. Huge audience tonight. Talk, talk about New Age Custom Farming a little bit and what you guys do on your YouTube page. And this Jeffro guy needs a dollar because he comments the most. I'm not sure who he is. I know if he's got Tourette's and he just keeps typing or if he's like one of your followers, but Jeff Rowe, he's, uh, he's going to town. He's a, Emily. he's a good subscriber of us. He comments and supports all of our videos. So we appreciate that. And we can see no, that. He's I like, see there's like a hundred, there's like a hundred comments and like 72 of them are his. So it's awesome. So. <laughs> see, I have my phone get... right I wish I could like read through the comments while you're going, but it's like not hooking up to my phone, but. Anyway. Yeah, um, you should you should be able to see the YouTube comments on your YouTube page, but like the Facebook ones, you won't unless you're logged into StreamYard, Emily. That's I think that's yeah, how it works. I was looking on YouTube. It doesn't matter. I'll look at we'll look at them later and respond to all of them. Don't worry. But so my favorite thing about all the YouTube and all the social media is is the cross promotion, showing truck and tractor pulling to like your audience, like the people that follow New Age Custom Farming probably aren't. Not all of them are truck and tractor pulling fans. They follow it because of all the goofy stuff you guys do and talking about the farm and things like that. But now we I, we get introduced them to the you know the greatest motorsport in the world, which is truck and tractor pulling, and it's fun to do stuff like this. So I was tickled today when you said, "Hey, let's go live on our YouTube page," and I and then I started looking at the numbers, go tick 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 tick, and I see a bunch of names that I haven't seen before. And I know you guys have an awesome YouTube following, so let's talk about New Age Custom Farming a little bit. And in the background, fans, this is Mason's run. I uh, probably is that both runs, Kenzie. That we're playing so these are this is thursday and saturday from the midwest winter nationals and when we say winter nationals it is legit all the best of the best 4-1 tractors in the country uh converged on this pool and mason elsine and their family won it on saturday night and that's what makes it a lot a lot of fun what are you doing there Kenzie? that's just really bright all of a sudden i was like i, I hurt my eyes so it's all good so talk go ahead emily talk about new age custom farming and what you guys got going on well, I mean, they are the New Age Custom Farming. I just show up at the farm and stick my camera in their face and do some stuff with the calves, basically. And then we uh, have our YouTube channel, which obviously, like you said, we're live on there. Greg is the man of New Age Custom Farming, so he can t explain the business side of things. So. Yeah, Greg. So what is New Age Custom Farming, Greg? Uh, about 30 years ago, Chris Fairman, my business partner, and I, bought a corn planter to do no-till corn planting, try it. And some people hired us and then we bought a no-till drill and then we bought a chopper and it just kind of grew into something bigger than we'd ever expected. And uh, we rent some land and, and farm it. We buy grain and uh, sell grain. You know, we, we've got our own grain drying facility and rent some land, farm it. And, and uh, in, in 2000, I sold 40 acres of the home farm to a family from the Netherlands. And if anybody remembers in 2000, we were selling corn for $1.60 a bushel. And I said, we got to do something different. So uh, <clears throat> we're, we were milking cows in 97 or 98. And I talked to somebody about expanding a dairy operation, getting bigger. And I said, ah, I don't know if I can do all that. And that guy says, well, I work with uh, this company that will bring a family from the Netherlands here that wants to milk a lot of cows. All they want to do is milk cows and you supply them with the feed. And we probably interviewed with 30 different families uh, and they either didn't like something we did wanted to do, or we didn't like something they want to do. And so we finally met with a family and, and we, we've gotten along and, and we supply all the feed, take care of all the manure, raise all the young stock for them. Uh, and that's where we got started. We do, we harvest custom harvest for other people too, but uh, we created a market you know, we don't get the highs in the money, but we don't get the lows either. So we're always in the middle somewhere there. And it, and it, it seemed to be a good fit. Uh, and they're milking a thousand cows there. And they bought another farm. We're doing the same thing with now on their other farm. Uh, so that's kind of what New Age Custom Farming has been. Uh, buy a lot of new Holland equipment. If you watch our videos, that's what we have. All you new know, Holland. Pretty much all new Holland, yep. I got a red sprayer, but. I also have a blue one. <laughs> right, right. The boys started their own spraying business, uh, custom application business, about three years ago. Yeah, three. Or, this will be our. We're going into our fourth season. So. Yep. So they do that too. Uh, 
And so, then we film it all and put it on YouTube for everyone to watch. <laughs> and Emily likes to stick the camera in her face at the worst moments because that's the best uh, content, apparently. Right. And and we show our we show the real farming. We're, we're not just demonstrating brand new equipment somebody gives you. We're fixing old stuff and making it go. You know, so that's it's always uh, something. Yeah, there's always something to fix. The shop is always busy. So. I'm just flipping through some of the comments here. Um, congrats, Mason, and the rest of the Elsie pulling team. Happy belated birthday, Mason. <laughs> yeah. That's good to see So oh, we posted I saying it was from December when Mason's birthday is nice, saying happy birthday. And people on our channel love my singing. <laughs> Avery's like, no, they no, they don't. No, they don't. I've been in the car with her a lot. It's yeah. You know, the one thing about Emily, she's not short on self confidence, guys. So if her singing's good, her singing's good. You just roll with it, Avery. I think we know yep. how this goes. So okay, so <laughs> yep, that's exactly. You're learning, Avery. You're learning, buddy. Uh, it was Freezy, fun. We had all, all the people that watch the page come up and talk to us. You know, and, and I love that. It, it was fun, and, and they you know, they tell you what they like, and and we try to do more of it. You know. Yep. And so, Jeff, and then, yeah, dude. Yeah. I probably had five people every day come up to me, different people every day come up to me and say they like watching the channel. And it's funny because I get, you'll be walking through the crowd to go get a beer or something and you're getting looks like people know, like they recognize you, but a lot of people don't say things, you know? Yeah. So you can just, you can just kind of tell that way too. Just get a t-shirt, but it says, yes, I am that guy, Avery. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, that's that idiot that did that. Yep. <laughs> I ran that thing over. All right. Jeffro, dude, Jeffro, Jeffro needs a hug or something, guys. You got to take care of this guy. He's going to town yeah. on the we'll, we'll send him a T8 Tomcat shirt. Right. Please do. Please do. Work, Mark working Weiss. On new Weiss. What's that, Greg? The one comment there, Mark Weiss. We're trying to get a deal done on it, so I think it's going to be a new howl in the way it sounds. So hard to go away from that. But uh, how was your pull in Florida, Jason? It was good. We got rained out Friday, unfortunately. Um, it was in the 60s and 70s down there. Um, we started, Doug went with me for my team. He scraped the track, started raining again. And we were afraid if we kept trying to build it during the rain, we were going to lose the whole weekend. And the forecast looked good for Saturday and Sunday. So we just pushed Friday to Sunday. All the pullers were there. We had guys from Massachusetts, Maine, from all over. And they wanted the two-day show. So um, just let it kind of sit Friday. And we got rain on and off all day Friday. And then I had an awesome crowd on Saturday and then polling's not big in Florida. There's just not a lot of it, you know, so the fans that really got to come and do it was good. So then we pushed our flights back. So uh, we had to take our first set of guys to the airport at, we, we got to the airport at four 30 this morning and then um, we got, we landed in. So we went from 73 degrees to three. I told Emily that 73 to minus three. When I talked to her on the phone today, we got to the airport and Doug and I upgraded, you know how sometimes you can grab the seats and pick your own. So Frontier doesn't have first class, but we got the two front seats for like 50 bucks. We're all excited. And the one time we get to get off the plane first, the stinking airplane door was frozen. <laughs> so they, they come up and they were trying to open it and the captain had to come out and it took like 10 or 15 minutes. And Doug just looked at me and goes, this is, this is our luck. So it's all good. At least it, it was still on there. Yeah, no, that would have been bad too. That would have been bad too. If it wouldn't have been on there, period. Um, Mark Weiss. So we talked about the combine. Hey guys, so we're this is down and dirty. Uh, we do this podcast every single Monday night, and we talk about everything happening with the Badger State Truck and Tractor Pullers. Um, and tonight is the first night, I think probably the only night, unless Emily decides that we can go live here again. I like the numbers, so this is fun. But it, um, we're live on the New Age Custom Farming YouTube channel, which is the Elsine family that you see sitting there. You get to see their lives, and a big part of their life is truck and tractor pulling. And Mason won the biggest pull of his life on Saturday night with their 4.1 limited pro. And it's freaking awesome. Happy for them um, to be able to do that. Go out there. And I mean, Dean Hollicky, man, that tractor's on rails right now. <laughs> he threw a five Oh turbo on and won, won the five Oh class. So when you got him, Mason, I'm like, yeah, yeah. The old thunder clutch. She's no longer the thunder chicken. She's the thunder clutch now. So now Mason, I thought now that you guys have a little extra money, Maybe you guys could put like decals and stuff on it again. Like, what what are we gonna do there? Is it always? <laughs> so that's what I always do. I was out in California. And there was a kid out there didn't have a windshield in his pulling truck, and he won the mod class both nights. And I picked on him when I was announced. I'm like, now that he has a couple grand, maybe he can put a windshield in his truck. So it was a lot. It was pretty funny. So. Well, it was supposed to get dropped off at Wildlands on the way home from there. They're gonna do a little work to it, but uh, 
Craig's shop is full of stuff going to Louisville. So we had the Knicks ad for a while. Yeah, no, I totally get it. Um, people are asking for the video. I have it playing behind me, but I want to, it's more important. I made you guys bigger, but I'm going to put it in the background here behind us in just a second. Yeah, no problem. Uh, I'm going to remove Clint, but he can still listen. And then I can do this and then I can play. Oops, that's too big. And play this video here, loading up in the background here. But yeah, it'll, I'm sure they'll have it up on their new age custom farming as well. And we'll get up on the Badger State Facebook page. Kenzie, did you do that tonight? There, yeah. get, put that on Badger State. It's on the Badger State Facebook page now. So Kevin K, Kevin K says, way to go, Mason, on the win. He's watching on YouTube. I'm assuming we'll get a video. Scott's 33, Reality Farming, Prairie du Sac, Sauk City. I like that. Mike Hanley says, Avery needs a t-shirt that says, I'm Emily's boyfriend. Great channel. <laughs> That's the best comment I've ever read. <laughs> I love it. I love it. They're, ruth they're a lot more ruthless on YouTube, Jason. Oh, no, dude. I love all this because I've grown up around you, knucklehead. So this is fun for me. I'm enjoying the shit out of this. <laughs> this is fun well, for one, Jason. One thing about Oops. Mason win was it was his first win ever so not only was it inside but it was his first win ever so that's that's awesome yeah that's awesome be i've been watching yeah i've been watching the thunder clutch pull forever and it's just so cool to, to see that happen so we're just gonna let the video loop here in the background um of mason i think this is kenzie is this both nights or is this the one that's, uh, that's right that, now saturday night and okay and that big black tube there along the side of the track people I know we have a new audience tonight. That's how the smoke gets out of the building. You see that the external smoke tag. I got the overlay up there with the Badger State channel. I'll take that off so people can see that a little bit better. Um, that's how the smoke gets out of the building. There's a big, gigantic like, fan motor outside. Greg, what do they use exactly to suck the smoke out of the building? Is it a big? Uh, I'm pretty sure it's a 500 horse Cummins uh, with a big squirrel cage fan like they use for Ben Green drying. If Clint was on, he'd tell you, but I think that's what it is. You know, but. Uh, it sucks the air out. The only time you ever see the tube blow up is if you have a pro stock on it. The tube will expand in Louisville. I don't know if it went on Clint's. It's a little different, but. Uh, well, that's. Pretty... Pro stocks make it jump off the ground. So. Yeah. I've yeah. seen that before. We can, that. we can tell you a little bit about picking gears and setting weights. Yeah, absolutely. No, I mean, this is a. We have a, a, a ton of people watching tonight. We got. On their YouTube channel alone, we have 241 people watching. That's 70% of our audience right now. The next yep. big, and then we're on Badger State as well. So this is awesome to have a great audience like this. And they want to learn about truck and tractor pulling and ask questions. Real, real quick, I got a really good picture of Avery and Emily I want to put up here for you guys. Oh, <laughs> Dude, Avery, if you don't get that T-shirt, I'm going to kick you in the balls, okay? No, Avery. <laughs> and Mason. And Mason. 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 And Hollywood coots. Yeah, yep. Hollywood got to make every picture. The guy's beautiful. He should be in every picture. If he he should be a movie star. He'd be a movie star if he wasn't a farmer. I'm telling you flat out. Right. Oh, we even got we even got spammers tonight. Man, you guys are awesome. Dear Nancy <laughs> Thaw, powerful traditional healer with the colorful love spells. Yeah, you'll have Dirk that. and Drew, Amy Drew. How close to the white line were you, Mason? <laughs> That's got to be Dirk. Yeah. Jim Wilburn held up like that on Saturday night. Maybe you know maybe. that's Mason. That's been the line for years down there. Um, you that I swear. Every now and then somebody will get lucky to run that right line, but that left line. But the trick is to keep it. I talked to your dad Sunday when he was driving home to keep it to the right enough and still run it without having to pound. I I guarantee you were pounding the piss on the brakes. Yeah, both both nights the for a long time it was we were on the brakes pretty hard. And, where it straightened out on both nights, it was I was on the brakes pretty hard. Yeah. Again, we're about halfway through our show here, down and dirty with the Badger State Tractor Pullers every Monday night, talking about um, the success of the Badger State Tractor Pullers, but ma mainly Mason Nelson because that's who we got on the show tonight. We were going to have Corey Fritz and Casey Fritz on the night. They won the Super Farm class, but this is fun. And with them, we're also on New Age Custom Farming on YouTube tonight. So shout out to them as well. Um, I have the owner of Coltrane Energy in my office here tonight as well. He's going to come on. We're going to go meet with some distributors the next couple of days, but Ryan Loganville's here. So for all of you in that new audience, they support truck and tractor pulling. So go check out ColtraneEnergy.com. They're good people. Uh, Greg, you've met them. You made a video with them up in Macville. Yep. Yeah, no. yeah we're a lot of it in Macville. It's, it's good stuff. It is, uh, good, it is stuff. good stuff. We, our local bar made their uh, signature drink out of it. 
Yeah, we, we might have to go find that tomorrow night. We what are you doing tomorrow night, Elsie? We've been there. Just give us a call. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You, yeah, no, we might have to. I got the Tesla. It'll drive us home. We're good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I yeah. love it. Oh, I love it. All right, let's talk about tra- let's talk about setting the tractors up a little bit, Greg. If anybody from the YouTube audience that maybe really isn't familiar with truck and tractor pulling, please um post some uh, some questions in there. All Jeff Rowe does is post little emojis. This guy's a this guy's a hoot. We got to get him. You, you got a T-shirt coming, Jeff. You can slow down now, kiddo. Okay, it's all right, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, the first go ahead, Avery or Mason or Greg. Talk about setting them up and how we get the tractors ready to compete. Well, we- well, we watched the first afternoon there, 75% of the tractors killed their motors. And then we were already talking about next year, we're going to re-gear re- it. So, you know, we wanted to put a lower gears in it for here. And uh, ended up, we didn't need them, but uh, we were thinking that before we went. But uh, Mason can tell a little bit about what he did there and why we did it. Yeah, it was, I mean, Clint built one hell of a track for the whole show. They, I don't think... I would say I would say fifty percent of the vehicles that went down the track died. Yeah, at for, least for sure. I mean, it, and that's a conservative percentage too. And uh, we knew that we needed to move move a lot of weight to the front, and we had, as you can see, we had everything on the front that would fit. And uh, we knew it was a power track, so you went in low gear, and I guess just kind of went along for the ride after that, pretty much. Yeah, yep. he was coming down to the left sideline. I was on the starting line, and I was—I knew he was going to have to get on the brake hard, and I was pretty well thinking it was going to end up dying. But kind of, it loaded the motor down, but it, it hung on. So you said when you when you downloaded the computer, which the computer records everything on the rod, you could see the RPMs go down when he started to let let on the brake, and when he let off it, when they came up again. So that that's good. So the motor's running good because usually they won't come out of that, but it did. You know, so that was that was fun, fun to hear. And then Saturday night, he was the last hook, and Avery and I were standing there, and I was standing there, and I said, "I know what the same thing should do, and what I should do is not what I want to do." And then John Coots was right ahead of us, and he's one of the best ones in the country, you know. And he fell back a little bit, and I said, "Well, we're not going there." So we moved. Mason said, "I, I knew what I seen." Yeah, I was sitting on the tractor, and I could see the scoreboard, and Coots didn't quite get there and I knew right then and there we were moving the sled <laughs> <laughs> and it, so we moved it to the right which made you launch the right side of the track all weekend was the better side because everybody shot left yep and uh we knew and the far you move to the right the harder it's going to shoot you to the left and it and it did and he held on to it and kept it in line Saturday night it was close. I mean, they, you can see the line on the qualifying pass, but I don't think you can see it on the. <clears throat> yeah, we shot. Our video is from the other side of the track over by the smoke tube. It looks like on Saturday night. So, I, yeah. I've seen somebody. Some people took videos, and it was right in front of uh, Bowsma's booth that I was really close to the line. And on the way back through, I walked past, and they pulled me in there, and they said there you, there wasn't any more. There wasn't any more track to use on that side. But there was no chalk on the tire. So, I mean, you did it. So, it's all no. good. It's no. all good. That is that is a great feeling. That is a great feeling watching that video and just I'm very, very happy for you guys. Did you guys do a bunch over the winter? Or I know, is that are those new tires? What did you end up guys doing? Right, we, can't, we, don't, we don't have to talk about secrets either. It's okay. It's okay if you don't want to do it. So, well, we put Parks tires on. Nope. New tires. So, but three or four of the guys in the finals had them on too. So, I mean, oh, even yeah. in the qualifying night, guys had them on. Some of them didn't make. I mean, it, it ain't all tires. I, I no, think I moving the sled for us was the biggest thing. Well, in effect, I mean, a lot of times a um, a late hook isn't always best either. But man, the way you guys were able to make that work, and that track is so consistent. We've always joked that there's two two times a year you use your Clint Tucker gear at his indoor pull, and also when you load the tractor. <laughs> you know, it's always been a a joke about that. That track is mean. He mixes he mixes some glue or something in it. Cole Tucker, he knows what he's doing. It's awesome. So, but there's like such the a good repu- that such a good reputation of that event for being well run and having an awesome track. So, yeah, yeah, I'd like to pull on a track like that every night. Yeah, 
I just love the indoor pool the, with the 300 feet, you know. So what was your distance, 310, Mesa? Uh, Friday night was like 307, and Saturday was 314. Yeah, 314, and then Dean was 310, right? Yeah. yeah and honestly, cool. Saturday night, if he would have had to hit the brakes, he'd have been 320. He'd have been well, yeah, you'd be you'd have been sitting on top. You'd been you'd been like king of the hill there, Mason. King of the hill. Right. So, um, so the pro stock got into Louisville, right? The T eight. Yep. So for all of you new new age custom farming uh, fans watching on YouTube, uh, the farm show, Greg, what night are you on down there? Thursday night. Thursday night. Yep. That is February fifteenth in Louisville, yep. Kentucky, uh, the largest farm show in the country. And they have a truck and tractor pull Thursday night, Wednesday night, Thursday night, Friday night, and then Saturday day, and then Saturday in the finals. And Greg got into the finals last year uh, with the T8 Tomcat, so that was that was a lot, a lot of fun with all of that. So, um, what's been Mason or Emily or uh, Avery with the YouTube channel? What's been kind of the what's your biggest takeaway from it? I guess more, uh, why did you get it started, and what it has evolved into, and then like, what do you think people love about it the most? Because your following is awesome. I would say that uh, we kind of just started. I, we talked about doing it, and I was always sitting at home watching YouTube farmers at night after work, and Emily kind of pushed me to get it started, just to start filming stuff. And when you start, it's weird. It's it's weird to talk to the camera by yourself, you know. But I know it was cool to I, – I just kind of thought when I was watching, I was like, well, we do all this stuff, and then – and, so much more. and a lot more with tractor pulling and you know you don't see many youtubers doing like uh like hay and corn silage and stuff like that a lot of them are just grain farmers and you yep. there's some cattle guys but they're smaller and i just thought we kind of had a well-rounded uh platform i don't i don't know what we have a a diverse things that we can share people share with people and to my background, like my corporate job and stuff before I left my corporate job and did freelance stuff is all on social media and video editing, social media stuff. So it takes the farm and also my other skill set that I provide that we can do something that we're all working together, creating content, having fun on the farm. But I want to know Mason's favorite part of the YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Our tough uh, egg to crack when it comes to filming stuff. Yeah, Mason, he talks a lot. He's a real, a real social fella. So. Right. Right. Off the camera. Mason, yeah. No, I know. I no. Trust me. I I've talked to Mason off camera. <laughs> it's we, were, we were eating dinner before this, and I said he has to put his personality pants on. So. Yeah, I think you have enough personality for all of us. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Uh, Damon Ball says, "Love the channel." Scott, you guys must have showed some of your dino videos um, on the YouTube. Were, were you guys happy the dino results? I watch your videos. Yeah, apparently they were very happy with their dino videos or the yeah, dino. Yeah, yeah. They showed showed down there. Yep. We also put a, we also put a new clutch in the tractor this year too. That might have helped a little bit. You know, I don't know if that helped or not, but we'll go with it. Yep, yeah, we'll, we'll say that's what it was. <laughs> but um, uh, do you, M, do you guys have a Facebook page for New Age Custom Farming? Uh, just do Allison Family Pulling Team on Facebook. Okay, so Don Don's from Nina, huge Badger State fan, watches every show every week. Um, she can drive the new oh Kevin K. Yeah, Kevin's a good fan too. Uh, somebody's asking when you're going to drive the tractor, Emily. And then um, I know the answer is never. So I was going to pull her across the scale one time, and she said she was too nervous. So. <laughs> She has, she can drive uh, John, John is going to let her drive one of the garden tractors. Though. Yeah. Strandley. Yeah. Our other host. That's more my speed. I can't even drive a car like the guy said in the comment. Well, literally in Shipshawana, I backed into something. So with my car. So if that's <laughs> any explanation of like my driving skills, I don't think a pulling tractor is in my near future. But I do like to joke that I want a purple hot farm. So maybe. Purple See. hot farm. I like that. I like that. Well, hey, I just got Cluppy here, and I got to put makeup on him tonight for uh, for Let's Grow Pulling. So, Greg, Mason, uh, Emily, Avery, let's wrap it up. And thank you for coming on tonight. We really appreciate you guys doing this. Mason, super proud of you guys, Avery. That tractor is running awesome. It's going to be fun to watch you guys this summer. And hopefully you can run down Hollywood and John Meyer Jr. and 
all those guys. I think my I think my tractor, the, the old remedy is going to be back out. I talked to Tony, so hopefully he'll have a couple four ones out to give you guys a run for your money. But it's good to see that run. And Greg, what's the first four one hook of 2024 for BSTP? Uh, it'll be the benefit poll. Okay. There's two there's two new ones for them this year, uh, Monticello, Iowa and Dubuque, Iowa. So Okay, yeah, I knew about Monticello because you talked about it up at the banquet, I feel like, during the rules meeting. Yep. So that's exciting there. That's a really neat venue, Greg. I've been going down there. I, I, as a kid growing up in Iowa, I got to go to Monticello a lot and watch that. That was a lot of fun. So yep. I like it a lot. Adam Stevens, he made the finals, didn't he? Adam did? He did good, too. Yep. yep. You said five of the six were Badger State tractors, right, that got into the finals? Yep. Last that's year we let the guy from Minnesota win. That's right, uh, you did. Not this year. Not this year. Not no. this year. There's a different guy from Minnesota, but the balls was <laughs> come five two. So yeah, we consider yeah, that part of good. us. It is all good. Um, thank you, Emily. Thanks for letting us uh, stream to the channel tonight. Huge numbers, awesome. Thank you for that. Thank you, everybody watching on YouTube. We appreciate you. Um, seriously, check out ColtrainEnergy.com. They ship it right to your door for free. Well, you got to pay for the drink, but the shipping's free. Uh, Cold Train Energy, and they they support truck and tractor pulling. They, Greg can vouch for that. Um, guys, it's just been fun. Mason, Avery, I'm glad the tractor was running awesome. Emily, um, thanks for do, all that you do uh, for social media and everything like that. And Greg, you're lucky. You're lucky to have these guys around because you can't even turn on your phone by yourself. So. All right. It's big here. I've got a beard on the on the TV here. I do that at home, and it doesn't work this way. Yeah. Hey, did, did the Buffalo Bills win tonight? They were winning last when we started the show. Okay, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. So, Emily, um, Avery, Mason, Greg, thanks for coming on tonight. We appreciate you guys. Congratulations on your big win, and I hope it carries it carries into the outdoor season, guys. Hopefully, hopefully. Thanks, Jason. Thanks for having us. Thanks for everybody Yeah, what watching. link? Hold on. The Our super fan, Jeff Rowe, can you please put up that link in the comments? Which one? Everything's about seven seconds behind, so I'm trying to find out. Buffalo won. He's probably trying to get for your next show, maybe. Uh, or, the, sure. or for the drink, you're probably right, yeah. Oh, yeah, coltrainenergy.com. Sorry, let me do that right now. They have four flavors. And they, I just love these guys because they support pulling. And, and, and I hate drinks for everybody that's out there. I hate them. I despise them because they're terrible. They're too <laughs> sweet, but these are good. Yeah, and I'll are. drink these. They are good. Yep. There it is. Coltrainenergy.com. Either coltrain.com will take you to the website or Coltrain Energy will take you to the website as well. So I want some of those new age custom farming fanatics, especially Jeff Rill. We're going to get Jeffro a t-shirt and a free can of cold train. Emily, how about that? If they, if they buy enough of it, maybe they'll put it on the side of our tractor. Huh? There you go. <laughs> there you go. So, um, yeah, you're going to be getting a call tomorrow night, Elsie, and we're going to go try some of that we're, what that bar that we talked about. So, Yep, we will do that. All right. Thank you, guys. This was a lot of fun. See you next week. Yep. Thanks, thanks, thanks guys. Thanks.